Hi, my name is Dan Sugar, founder and CEO of Next Tracker. We just finished our quarter and posted our Q3 fiscal 2024 earnings. We had record revenue, over 700 million, record profit, and record backlog. That was enabled by the confidence of our customers, which we greatly appreciate, and the fantastic work of the Next Tracker team. We're seeing really strong market growth, both in the US and overseas. In the US, strong policy tailwinds enabled by the RRA with 30% investment tax credits helped offset higher costs in labor and some of the delays we've seen with permitting, interconnection, and long lead equipment. There's just a lot more participants in the market, both in the developer and IPP community, as well as with new EPCs in the markets. We also speak to the strength in the overseas market. We celebrated a huge milestone with our 10 gigawatts, either operational or under fulfillment, in the Middle East, North Africa, and India regions. We've seen adoption of our new products, both our expanded tolerance with our extreme terrain following 1.5 product, our zonal diffuse, which takes our true capture software and control technology to the next level, and our Hail Pro technology. And all these technologies are either operating in the field today or scheduled for delivery to customers this year. Well, we wanted to take a few minutes now and really speak about some of the drivers that are happening. And in the US particularly, we're seeing load growth and need for new power that hasn't been seen for certainly over 50 years in the United States. Well, what's driving that? Well, in the US, demand is growing at a very vibrant clip for the first time in, in many, many decades. Why? We're seeing a lot of data centers going in. We're seeing electrification for appliances like heat pumps, electric vehicles, and uh, driving new load. And we're seeing a reindustrialization across the United States. For example, with Next Tracker, we help catalyze over a dozen factories that are operating and shipping finished goods now that didn't exist two years ago. At the same time, a lot of legacy power plants and obsolete power, coal in particular, but other power plants are going offline. There is a uh, tremendous growth in demand. The US Energy and Information Administration published new guidelines. Since 2007 through 2023, there was about a 1% annual increase required for new capacity of power generation equipment across all types in the US. That's now increasing to almost 5% per year over the next five years. So that results in almost 300 gigawatts of new power plants we need in the US. And over the next 10 years, 500 gigawatts of new power. Well, where's that new power gonna come from? According to the US Energy and Information Administration, most of that new power is gonna come from wind and solar, with solar actually leading the charge at a 26% annually compounded growth for solar for the next five years. Now this is from EIA. EIA has historically been very conservative about renewables. What EIA is saying now is within 10 years, solar is gonna be producing the most energy in the United States of any single source. And that's on an energy basis, not a capacity basis. There are naysayers. We can't rely on renewables to have all this power come into the grid because when the sun's not shining and the wind's not there, you don't have reliable power. Batteries have really come of age because the costs have come down so much in battery energy storage. Batteries are coming in at scale now. At the end of last year, 2023, there were about 15 gigawatts of batteries operating in the grid. That had gone up by a factor of five over the last few years. We're expecting 50 gigawatts of this battery energy systems, both co-located with wind and storage, but also standalone projects to be operating. And we're seeing a compound annual growth if you go from 2020 through uh, 2025 of these battery energy systems operating. So we're very optimistic about the uh, market potential for renewable power, wind and solar, in particular on solar, its ability to be installed in a wide variety of terrains. Next Tracker is well positioned to be able to serve the market and 
these uh, greater needs for power as we go forward. Finally, a huge shout out to the Next Tracker team. We're just getting started here. Please check out our earnings and at our homepage, nexttracker.com.